didn't want to go back to New York. And I wouldn't have if it wasn't for NIE. I'm meeting her at a cafe. She sent me the location. <laughs> I'm so excited to see her. Yeah. We met a year earlier in New York while we both still lived there. We were simultaneously shrinking from the chaos and stress of living there. Coincidentally, we both don't live there anymore. She lives in London and I am, I guess, in Utah and I don't know where I'll officially end up, but I visited her in London back in January. Anais teaches me what love is. Long, calm eye contact, and honest words, and silent moments, and just presence with me. Like, it's just the two of us on this sweet little world, going on our own sweet little adventures. Were you ever um, listening? Did you even care that I was stood? By your side, you're fortunate. You so <laughs> Are you really leaving? Beautiful. Am I I'm trying. How the heck am I already leaving? That was such an amazing trip. I love Emery's. She really is Aphrodite and a human being. Like being around her helps you learn about the world and yourself. Ugh. Anyone in the vicinity? I'm boarding the plane now. No, I'm not. I'm walking to the train, but I'm gonna board the plane. Anais told me she wanted to visit New York City again for her birthday and that I should come because she wanted to go again like a healthier version of herself and that really inspired me to go back but to honor the good things that happened there and like finally just like say goodbye to the resentment and hurt and grudges that I have for a lot of the things that just went down in that city and focus instead on like the love and the good people and the good memories and the good weather and all the fun things that can happen in a fun today. I wouldn't be me if it wasn't for the people that love me and for the people that look out for me. And that also goes with therapy. And I'm so thankful for the therapy that I got in those times that I was struggling. And say sponsored, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. BetterHelp is an online therapy service with experienced and licensed therapists that are there to help you with your needs. I've used BetterHelp in the past, specifically when I was living in New York City and just struggling. It was so valuable to get that specific advice that I needed for my struggles at that time and like at the time I just like couldn't leave my apartment <laughs> and so my therapist helped kind of just encourage me and give me methods of just getting out of the apartment for five minutes and other techniques to deal with my anxiety. It's really simple to start. You just answer a few questions about what your needs are and what your preferences are and BetterHelp will match you with a therapist that's best suit for you. Once you're matched, you can message your therapist at any time and set up live video chat calls that are convenient for your schedule. If you've met and chat with your therapist and you feel like they just aren't the right fit for you for any reason, BetterHelp will switch you to a new therapist at no extra charge. With BetterHelp, you're getting that same professionalism and quality as you would expect from in-office therapy. Also a bit extra special because you have that flexible scheduling, more affordable prices, and a therapist that's custom picked for your needs. If you're looking into getting therapy and just needing some extra help and support right now or someone to talk to, you can get 10% off using the link in my description. All right, back to the video. I'm trying to get everything done before I have to leave and I've been putting off going to the post office for like two months and then I was sitting in line you don't sit in line I was standing in line I was like this is a chill place this why why didn't I avoid this and I also want to work out I want to eat before my fight we're on a rush we're on a time crunch <laughs> Number 
working on that old steamboat and learned to ride and ski. When my feet had touched dry land, how happy I did feel. Okay, that was one tiring night, but I have arrived. Right. Now it's just an hour to my friend's place that I'm staying at. Am I gonna be taking a long, long nap? Yes. I've been waiting for a very hot second for the, the luggage. Nothing's showing up. The biggest contemplation when I get off a flight is taking the subway or paying for a super stupid, expensive Uber. We, we resort to the subway. It stopped moving. This is gonna take a lot. <laughs> I'm so ready for my nap, but because I'm trying to be a new woman, I am still gonna exercise today. Yeah, be proud of me. Give me a fist bump. Tell me things are gonna be okay. Tell me things are gonna be okay. So excited and energized because the weather is so good. So nice out. It's spring. There's little flowers. Quick little nap, and then we're gonna go out and explore and just have fun. I wanna go to my favorite coffee shop that's near my old apartment. And it's funny being back here. Like, I've been gone for months, but when I get back on that subway, I feel like I've never left. I'm like, ah, oh, here we are. We're back. We're back. It's nap time. Um, so it's been like four hours. I'm gonna go grocery shopping. Wow. Oh my gosh. Man, I thought I was gonna like, run a whole marathon today. I was like, I'm gonna run all over Brooklyn. No, I need food. Feeling like a mommy. I'm gonna cook for myself. So I'm actually gonna go visit her in Washington Square Park right now, but I'm gonna run first and then get on the subway. But that's a whole ordeal when it's springtime and the weather just doesn't stay nice the whole time. So I have to keep my warm layers with me. Meeting her at a cafe. Hello, beautiful woman. Darling, I have things for you. You made my video? Yes. Um, yeah. We signed up for a workout class. Yes. And I've only discovered that it's for climbing. Yes. So we'll see. <laughs> how It'll it goes. be wonderful. <laughs> I'm walking to my favorite cafe ever. It is the only thing that gives me purpose. I love this place. Let's run. So I sell in my car, I was Socrates. With drawings from your love, it was cigarette daydreams. I try to confess my sins broke down in the box. What is happening? To be honest, I was feeling pretty down about being here last night. By strategy, when I used to live here, which I don't know if it's a totally healthy strategy. Actually, so is. Is I would just hit up everybody I know and be like, "When are we hanging out? Let's plan something." And just knowing that I'm gonna be able to see people in the future makes me feel way better. We happen to be next to my favorite art store. Actually, the only art store I know of here. So we're gonna get a lot. Don't sleep. Got a head full of eyes. They all slumber. Don't see you around no more. Wanna see you around some more. One on one six shifts more. I made some irresponsible decisions, but I'm happy about it. Art. I love art supplies. Yeah, yeah. I'm so excited to show you what I got. I got some really fun watercolor and gouache painting stuff. I got the whole thing, the whole kit. Except I could use some more brushes. Oh! renovating today so it was closed my whole morning walk for what actually I had a great time but we're gonna go to a different cafe now and I'm gonna meet up with a friend I haven't seen her friend people are carrying art I don't know what's going I don't know what it is our suspicions were correct just people hanging up art in there for a gallery tonight I just signed up for the next two weeks for one of the gyms that's like near my old apartment why 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 why, why? why? Did I never sign up for this place it's so good. It's so good and fun and free and beautiful up there. All right, I'm gonna go home, change, and then we're gonna go to the gym. Ugh. I didn't bring deodorant and um, look at my muscles, guys. I mean, it's small, but like, 
I'm working on it. All right. Time for the art haul. I need to go pee. Damn. The bag of goodies. I have to limit myself with the paintbrushes because I already have too many at home. Those can really add up. I want to get into watercolor and gouache more. So I got two different water soluble pencils and then just these two simple little brushes. And then, and then, I want a little crazy. I want to make my perfect travel kit for different arts. So I got the, the baby Winsor Newton watercolor thing. Shit is expensive. Let's take a look. Let me reenact that for you. Beautiful. And then I got some tube watercolors, but I got a gouache white. And then if you add gouache white to pretty much like watercolors, it'll make it into like wash. We got the primary colors here, and then I just got like a an ochre and a Payne's gray. The last thing I got was a watercolor sketchbook. To make this irresponsible decision of spending this money. Why are you hissing? We're gonna make a goal, you and me. We're gonna make a goal of doing Three watercolor gouache drawings, gouache, gouache drawings before I leave New York. You always know it's good when it's a German brand. They got the German on there. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Oh yeah, oh yeah, nice thick paper. I need to make lunch and then we're going to the gym. Guys, I have like a little, oh yeah. I'm going to the art gallery that I saw earlier today. Let me show you the fit. Is it? Is it? Oh, I'm just, okay. oh. oh, you're so cute. Okay. I'm going to the old roomies apartment for dinner. And Trish? Mm -hmm. She makes the best food ever, so I'm very excited. My lips are moisturized. This is great. I'm gonna go get coffee. I'm gonna draw. Ah! And then we're gonna work out. The gym was closed, but at least I got a little, like, happy little walk in. My caffeine fell. Now I'm just in bed until I have to leave for NAS's birthday party and I made her a very special present. I'm trying to become a master of the 15 minute nap because I thought to myself once, what if you really can train your brain anything? So you get like a well-rested nap in 15 minutes? That would be such a great skill. Nap starting now. Good night. I'm heading to her birthday dinner right now, but the gift that I'm giving her is just a little story of how awesome she is and how we became friends. That's it. And we'll Same thing I did yesterday and the day before. I'm walking to the cafe and I'm gonna go to the gym. This time hopefully it's open. I wanna be strong. It is so fun, like getting strong. It is so fun. Like, oh wait, my body wants to be strong? Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna go 
see my friend Ava and she was one of like the first friends I ever made in New York. It's beautiful out. <laughs> I'm meeting Ava near Union Square and I promised myself there was this one man that sells things at Union Square. He had like the biggest smile of love and the sweetest eyes and I told him that I was moving out of New York and he looked at me and he's like, so you're one of the lucky ones. I was like, oh! If I see that man again, I need to give him a long hug. That's just, it was so sad. This is where I admitted to Ava, like the first person ever that I admitted to, that sometimes I have to think about boobies to like get myself there. And then she's like, and I accepted you. Yeah. She's like, that's. I great. was like, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> it's an iconic location for us. Uh, trying to get to Sam, aka Slew's studio, so we're gonna film an art video together. And a blast! <laughs> I saw my husband in the cafe today. Oh. He, was cute. he was cute too. And he had this baby little notebook and he was writing in like really baby little handwriting. We were meant to be together, so that was a lost opportunity. What would you get? Delicious. Mm. Oh yes. Oh yes. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I like the red one personally. Like Good salesmanship movie. <laughs> so I'm trying to get a positive start to the day and I'm walking to the gym. I totally get why people get up early now. I mean, it's not even early, it's like 10 a.m. But normally I'm getting up at this time. Wow, it is beautiful, the sun is out. It's like a crispier, fresher air. Today's a busy day-ish. It's almost the end of this trip as well. I don't know what happened, like some days passed. I was, I, I got a little tunnel of like, I need to edit and things, but I don't even really get much done when I do that. But, but I'm going to the gym to be a muscle mommy and I'm gonna experiment with like amping up the intensity because I don't think I've ever actually really brought my legs to failure. I don't know if I'm capable of that mentally, to be honest. Like, I don't know if I want to feel that, but we're just gonna, I'm just gonna try to see. And then I have to switch where I'm staying because my friend's place that I'm at now, she's getting home tonight. I am, what am I doing? I'm migrating to another friend's place because she offered, but she's a white couch. We'll see about that. You gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> limits a little bit in some places but i always like five minutes after the workout ends i'm like that was easy didn't even push myself anya don't gaslight yourself i'm walking into my friends now for brunch Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Uh. Heading out of my friend's place, off to my other friend's place. Let's go. If only you could tell me why. <laughs> Good morning. Another morning walk. Um, because I keep telling other people in the vicinity. It's so embarrassing. It's so embarrassing, but I have to get over it. But that was so humiliating. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna walk like an hour to the same location I go every day to go to the cafe and then go to the workout. So one of the misses of you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> stand in front of the motorcycle. <laughs> oh. There's a man coming. Ignore the man. 
I can't film in front of people, we're gonna wait. So we're going down Nostalgia Lane right now and I'm just like walking past all the things that throw back the most beautiful memories. And this, this location right here, I kissed a girl for the first time there. Yeah, and it was wonderful, I have to say. And then we got tacos, I had my first margarita. First kiss and first margarita in one night. And then my one friend took a sneaky film photo of us, of like our legs. I'll pull it up right now, cause it's just so iconic. And it was so cute, like my hand was on her knee and it was a whole thing. Anyways, oh, oh yeah, the relationship <laughs> didn't go anywhere. But you know what I did get? My first kiss. <laughs> my friend's apartment that I'm staying in, unbelievable, unbelievable. Look at this view. We've got a fun day coming, but as per usual, I'm gonna go make myself a muscle mommy. Feeling so good, feeling like a muscle mommy. Now I'm going into Manhattan to see Frederick. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Alright, ran into someone I went on a date with like a year ago. That was funny. He's nice abs. It's my last day here, so I fly out later today. You know what's so silly vlogging? Because I'm like, why am I telling you what I'm gonna do for my day? Why am I doing that? Let's go get some coffee. <laughs> so sad to leave on a day like this. The sun shining and the birds chirping. Or I can look at it like this is the best day to leave. What a warm departure. My last moment. Every time I think I'm walking in the right direction because I'm so directionally advanced. No, I was going totally the wrong way. I went around the block because I thought it was just too embarrassing to walk past anyone. You're asleep while I'm screaming. 